Andre from Brazil asks, uh, how do we identify new threats which we don't currently have the lab tools to be able to identify? Uh, Marion, what do you think? Um, well, that's where I think the catch-all all tools come in. Um, so there are now toolboxes that we discussed also in the panel uh, that allow you to just characterize whatever is in a sample where we don't necessarily know if that is a disease, the cause of a disease that you may be seeing. So this is about thinking through how to use these tools. It doesn't help to just go out and test randomly, but you would need to use them uh, by comparing, for instance, what you see in a group of patients and, and in healthy people, and do you see a difference? So those toolboxes are uh, uh, being developed to be able to, to do this. Of course, then you move to the next stage, you detect something, then how do you go into all the steps that we discussed? Uh, uh, because then we talk about uh, the disease X scenario as WHO uh, calls it, where there would be a totally new disease that we haven't seen before, where there is no medical countermeasures. So then you would have to rely on what do we know about uh, other ways of controlling spread of a disease that we don't fully understand. So the classical public health measures that uh, Malik just described is the does social distancing uh, work, how uh, uh, how sensitive is this new pathogen to disinfectants? So there's an immediate call for a lot of questions um, that, uh, that need to be answered in those kinds of situations. So what I would like to briefly touch upon there is that need for outbreak preparedness, research preparedness. Um, we talked about early detection, we talked about uh, development of vaccines, uh, when there's a full-blown spread, but uh, what we didn't talk about is that we need this in-between niche where we have prepared teams, uh, systems that can get that information out as fast as possible during the early stages of an outbreak. Uh, so this is, for instance, MSF working with the national government, working with WHO, um, taking care of patients, but also understanding that uh, they are generating some information that may help us understand how to contain these diseases. Mm -hmm. 